Hello guys, this is Street Service TV and welcome back to my channel. But before I start the devotional, guys, I would like to shout out the following personal channel na nagpunta rito at nag-join sa devotional. Shout out ang Godless to Shen TV Guapo, Ariel Sauce Channel, Four Man's Work, Honey Love, Molik Salamada, Devs Pilia, Yens TV, Michael Aburita, Saki Karyon, Connie Love, Connie Blog, Heart Ponsalan, Loris Channel, Pamilya Lagan Channel, Diane Spakadalhin, Retro Blog, Seychelles Love, Jocelyn Custodio, SSC TV of Korea, Tikia Coronel, Dick Clan Sebastian, and Roya Vlad TV. Hello guys, kumusta po? I praise God for your faithfulness in um, joining the devotional, particularly those who regularly come almost every day, no? Every day talaga, walang paltos, no? So shout out, I am really praying for you, na God's blessing be upon you. I praise God for how you have made time to join the devotional and I know God is happy with that gesture you've made before you. I guess it's not proceed to our devotional. Let's open our Bible to Ecclesiastes chapter 10, verse 1 to 14. Guys, I'm using the National International Version of the Bible para maintindihan naman natin kasi ang words na ginagamit dito is so simplified. I guys saw the word of the Lord in Ecclesiastes 10, verses 1 to 14 says, As did flies give perfume a bad smell, so a little folly ought to its wisdom and honor. The heart of the wise inclines to the right, but the heart of the fool to the left. Even as fool walk along the road, they lack sense and show everyone how stupid they are. If a ruler's anger rises against you, do not leave your post. Calmness can lay great offenses to rest. There is an evil I have seen under the sun, the sort of error that arises from rulers. Fools are put in many high positions, while the rich occupy the low ones. I have seen slaves on horseback while princes go on foot like slaves. Whoever digs a pit may fall into it. Whoever breaks through the wall may be beaten by a snake. Whoever queries stone, quarry stones may be injured by them. Whoever splits logs may be endangered by them. If the axe is dull and its edge unsharpened, more strength is needed, but skills will bring success. If a snake bites before it is charmed, the charmer receives no fee. Words from the mouth of the wise are gracious, but fools are consumed by their own lips. At the beginning, their words are full. At the end, they are wicked madness. And fools multiply words, no one knows what is coming. Who can tell someone else what will happen after that? Amen. Amen. I guess let's not pray. <clears throat> Father God, we're not exempted from foolishness, especially during our youth and even at this time, Lord. We have done foolishness before you and we pray to please forgive us. For forgiveness of God that comes from you. Forgive us, okay? That we will realize what we have done and will not do it again, oh Lord. Lord, help us, lead us. Thank you to God for those who are here coming, na, na join sa Dibos na. Bless the family they are representing. And I pray God for their need. May ka ang magbigay. Kung ano man yung mga pangailangan nila. May it be physical, mental, emotional, financial. And above all, spiritual. Healing their God sa mga may sakit. And even their God, ko ano man yung madisay ng heart nan. Teach us to delight ourselves before you, that you may give us a desire of our heart. Yes, Lord, to all these things, we commit it all unto you. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen and amen. Okay, guys, our focus verse for this evening is found in Ecclesiastes chapter 10, verse 2 to 3. And it says, The heart of the wise inclines to the right, but the heart of the fool to the left. 
even as full walk along the road, they lack sense. Gabi, no? Yung mga masasama daw, they walk along the road, they still lack sense. So the title of the devotion for this evening, guys, is Learning from Paulusness. A man walk into a convenience store in Wollongong, Australia, put a $20 bill on the counter and asked for change. When the clerk opened the cash drawer, the man pulled a gun and asked for all the cash in the register. Which the clerk promptly provided. The man took the cash from the clerk and fled, leaving the 20 bill on the counter. The total amount of cash he got from the drawer. Gabi talaga. $15. Nakakatawa. <laughs> okay. We all act foolishly at times, even if, unlike this belief, we're trying to do the right thing. The key is to learn from our foolish behavior. Without correction, our poor choices can become habits which will negatively shape our character. We'll become fool who lack sense. Sometimes it's hard to admit our foolishness because of the extra work it requires. Perhaps we need to reflect on a particular character flaws, and that's painful. Or maybe we need to admit that the decision was made hastily and next time we should take more care. Whatever the reason, it never pays to ignore our foolish ways. Thankfully, God can use our foolishness to discipline and shape us. Discipline isn't pleasant at the time, but its training yields good fruit in the long run. In Hebrews 12, 11. Let's accept our Father's discipline for our foolish behavior and ask Him to make us more like the sons and daughter He intends us to be. Amen and Amen. <clears throat> Natawa ko dun guys sa story ng Hold Up. <laughs> Siguro sa pagmamadali niya, di niya napansin na yung nakuha niya is uh, maliit na halaga pa pala kasa doon sa $20 bill na ano, binigay niya. No? So sometimes uh, yung mga police talaga na ginagawa natin, babalik talaga. No? So reaping and sowing. You sow what? You, uh, you reap what you sow. Paano yung tinanim natin? Uh, you tell your army. Natin. Hey guys, I'm so happy na you are here uh, sowing no? uh, uh, with God no? because you spend time with God. Kasi Pag nakita ni Lord na we are making time with Him, God is so happy and that God would surely bless us. It's not pulling Him. It's not pulling Him. That's why ang lagi kong prayer sa inyo is ano talaga, na God will surely bless you, di ba? Yun, uh, sa mga responses ko sa inyo, God bless you more. So yun, because uh, yan talaga yung pinipray ko sa bawat isa. Sa inyo na pumunta rito. No? It's not foolishness but it's a prayer na I know God would answer for you. No? I'm used kasi to pray people na hindi ko nakikita. Gaya nung sinabi ko previously, no? I've been praying for at uh, two women na hindi ko pa nakita. Nakita ko lang sa, sa magazine. Ayat nung nagpunta ako ng Europe, sila yung sumundo sa akin sa ano, sa airport. So sabi ko, ah, so you are Mary Caldeway. Ah, so you are Helga Pinsern. So nabigla sila, ha? Why did you know me? So, oh, I've been praying for you. So, nung sinabi ko, I've been praying for them, ayun, niyakap nila ako at umiyak. So, nila, oh, brother, we thank you for uh, praying for us. Kaya pala ganito ang buhay namin because somebody is praying for us. So, di ba? Advantage talaga, guys, pag may mapipray sa atin. I guess it's a proceed to the question. What's a recent Polish choice you've made? Meron ba? Parang wala. Wala akong ano. Kasi ano yun. Parang nagiging careful na ako sa mga ginagawa ko. No? Uh, yung wala akong matandaan na ano. No? Uh, Di ba yesterday sabi ko, if the Holy Spirit is with you, no? uh, you have accepted this question for the Sacred Lord, the Holy Spirit will really work in your kaya. Sa buhay ko ngayon, parang I do not know if I have done foolishness. 
parang wala ko na ano, wala ko na remember. Okay, second question. What do you think God wants you to learn from it? Well, any ano, any thing na ginagawa natin, may consequences talaga yan. Kaya let's better to do good things rather than doing bad things. Let's praise God for everything. I guess let's not pray. Thank you, Father, for using our foolishness to train us. May we accept your discipline graciously as you continue to work in us. Amen. And amen. Yes, guys, life is just a sowing and a living. God bless us always because I know God surely bless us 10 times better. This is again with Sherwin's TV. Kita-kita tayo mula tayo sa buli. Paalam!